I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, Fishing for Summer Flounder, and you can learn more about the book at flounderbook.com. I'll have links to all of the gear that we used in the description of the video. So I'm going right into where you guys were drifting. Okay, I'm fishing with John Halkius of the Jigging Jerks channel, and uh, right now we're just trying to set up, and I've got my smartphone with uh, the Navionics app on it, and I was out the previous day with Rick from the Blue Jay, and we had done very well. I had my Navionics app running the whole time, and so I've got all the tracks, all the drift lines that we did, and we're just trying to set up on those right now. Yeah, you're right, it is not in the heart. So that's south. And we're heading north right now. So I gotta turn to the left again. Maybe get through these boats. Yeah, it looks like maybe we're on the outside line. Okay, also on board today, next to me, I've got Michael Kim. And uh, he works for Tackle World, previously known as Jigging World, but they make the Jigging World line of products, including the Nexus rod that uh, I like so much. And in the back corner of the boat, we have Tony Hong of Tony Hong Fishing. This is 90 minutes into the trip, and we've got, I don't know, maybe five, six keepers on board, um, or that we've caught. And uh, no real size, but Halkies has got a nice one there. And as I've mentioned, uh, these fish... They turn on and off. I mean, really what we try to do is we focus yeah, on grounds that uh, we know are good. We try to get good drift lines over them. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, we've had like an, an hour or so where we're just looking around. There's a lot of boats on the water. It's a Saturday. It's crowded. Uh, and, and nobody's uh, really doing anything. So the fish just simply aren't feeding. But that's going to change big time. And, yeah, Halkis is fish there. That's really the one that's going to kick it off. And you're going to see it get going here in a bit. Can you make sure you have a mark on this and know where you are? Yeah, yeah, good call. Done. The back, the stern fish is nice. I got a good one up here. Oh man. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right, get the big one for Skinner. Get the big one, just leave your fish. Get the big net for Skinner. Go around though. He's coming with the big net skinner. Let's see who comes up. Oh, you got a nice one. In. Okay, maybe we're getting a bite now. You see, you got it. You got the spot nailed down. Hey, excuse me a minute. Where are we on the drift? Um, we're we're past the mark that we caught the fish. Uh huh. Near other marks. Oh, good, good. Fish. Okay, good. All right. Oh yeah. All right. When I talk about uh, what we look for in places where we fish for fluke. You know, I've mentioned slopes, ledges, high spots, you know, any kind of depth variation. And we do have that to some extent here, but it's not uh, tremendous. It's maybe a seven or eight foot difference from one part of the drift to another. But what is here is a difference in the bottom makeup where in some areas it's like all sandy. In other places it r it's very rocky. And uh, in another week after I post this, I'm going to post... Um, I've got quite a bit of bottom video I took the day before this and uh, it's very interesting to see that difference in bottom and uh, the fluke like that. It's an edge like any other. Uh oh. Oh that's a beauty John. Beauty. You wanted a portrait or regular? It doesn't. Wait, just bear with me. Oh, I'm going to put it in the basket.
I'm gonna need a net. We have boat waves in here. Oh, the orange gulp again. Uh, -oh. <laughs> uh do you guys want this guy? He's big. Alright, just gonna I'm letting him go. Bye bye fish. Good. Let him go. Oh he has my how, how, oh, how bloody up. how messed up is he? Yeah, he he's bloody. Like if he's not gonna live, I'll throw this one back instead. All right. Ooh. I can't. I gotta get my my uh, orange gulp out of him first. So I mentioned the different bottom makeups. You know, obviously, few people have a camera down there and take any video, but. It's one of those things that you could feel out with your rig because uh, there's no doubt when you're over the rougher bottom, you can feel that. And, you know, if you're going over areas that are smooth and then you're hitting the rocky areas, well, you know, that might be something you want to focus on. Oh, two on. I got the net. Yeah, it's a good one. All right, I got the net. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even down yet. Yeah, this one's... Michael's got one too. Mike, you need a net too? Yeah. Oh shit, Tony, you might need to grab the other net. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. I know I no, this is a oh, good do one. Do you need the big net? Just just be there with a the net. Okay. I'm here with a net. You wanna switch nets, Tony? Just too late, too late! Alright, 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 alright. Skinner, calm down. Well, What I say. Oh, oh, this is heavy, dude. Oh, it's in the herd. <laughs> what do you got back there, too? Yeah. Holy cow, double action. Nice fish. You got the spot, right? You got yeah, the mark? Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> oh. We're down 87 feet. Just mark down. It's a big fish here. Yeah, it is. I think that might be nine and change. Oh, yeah, yeah. But let me, let me get it out and... Yeah, I knew that from the from the beginning. Whoa, this is a good one. And he bypassed the fluke strip and took the orange gulp. Orange gulp, huh? Dude, that's a big... Oh, two, John. Yeah, nine at least. At least nine. Orange gulp. All right, got it. And, and he's definitely going back, so... Yeah. Say your line. Watch the. Watch out for the draggers. There you go. Bye bye. Okay, I have plenty of underwater video that shows when you miss one of these things, it keeps coming. This one's a great example. So, Halkius really has his work cut out for him today with all of these boats. I mean, it's just a beautiful day in August. And I think anybody who owns a boat is using it today. Um, yeah, so normally what he would do is try and pick an open lane so that when we drift, we're not drifting over something that somebody else has drifted over. That's really hard to do today. There's just so many boats. So when it's like that, uh, he's just going to focus on the spots and um, he's going to do a, just a spectacular job of that this trip. I'm getting worked here. You know when it just... All right, I've missed this fish three times, and uh, you know what? I'm just going to keep action on that jig. I know that fish is going to stay with it. I'm going to get it. Uh, 
net. You know, I say, let's go up. I get everybody's line out of the water, right? That's gonna I was I was working this fish for like a minute. It's not gonna be big. It's not gonna be. I, I might even be able to swing him. He's coming up really fast now. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, you know what happens? Your eyes get screwed up from fishing here. Oh, it's a good, and he hit the uh, strippy. That was the first one to avoid the orange, huh? Yeah. Let's go up anyway. Yeah. Okay, one more for a double limit. Come on, keep it going, John. Oh, we're staying? <laughs> Wait, and, and I'm gonna. He responds to fat wallet and dirty boat. That's, that's his, uh, the other words. That is. He, he knocked them off in like four months. Uh, <laughs> I see samples of it. I'm like, wow. But what do people use that for? Oh, I use. That's what I used last year. Good fish. Ah, uh, we'll see. I think the way it's going with meat, we're not going to worry about a net. Did you reel up a little? Yeah, a little Yeah, I was trying to get him under. under. Here he comes. Okay, other way. There we go. Yeah, it's a good fish. Is he? Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Orange go. He passed on the strip again. Yeah, orange? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it really is good. Double limit now? Yeah, one more limit. I'm we're gonna be up in uh, Blue Jay territory. Get your line down, Skinner. <laughs> Don't fail me. Because, <laughs> you know, Rick puts me on the triple limits. So we had some action with some sea bass and some smaller fluke, and uh, that's it for the salmon-colored gulp. Uh, we went through that. So I switched over to pink shine, and, uh, yeah, that's going to work just fine. And those are fluke fin strips that I'm using on the bucktail. Come on, I feel you down here. So, I guess I'm going to need a net. I mean, this is not going to be a swinger. Oh, okay, I got it. I need that. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got yeah, you're, yeah, that's true. I saw the tail. Yeah, no, actually, yeah, okay, all right. I didn't see it right the first time. Uh, yeah, I wasn't swinging that. Thank you. Yeah, sometimes looking at that underwater video, it's amazing we're not just hanging on that. I guess the bucktails, you know, we're staying above it a little bit, bouncing on top of it. Yeah. Uh, pretty, not, whatever the limitation is, I don't remember what it is, but it's far past whatever I'm going to use it at. I got a good one here. This is a really good one. Yes. Wow. Yeah. You know what? This is it. 
This is it, huh? Have you ever heard me say that? Never. I've known you for a long time. Well, a year plus. I've never said that before. Okay, it's coming up faster now, but... Is my camera on? Just freaking yeah. play. Pay attention <laughs> to the... Oh, uh, was it? Oh, damn it. Damn it. I'm pretty sure the other one. It's not a bad fish. Yeah. God, it felt so. Well, you know, it's just. Seven. Uh, boy, that's it. It's amazing. I think. It's frustrating. You tell me. Uh, I think always when I go in the. I hate this net. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Sorry about I'll that. take care of it. Yeah, well, hey, I told you to bring the big one. And you know what? I would do that every time from what he felt like. No, I mean, he might be bigger. Yeah, it's a great fish. You know, it really felt like the bottom, and then it was, you know, such nice. Look at that. Hey, okay, off he goes. Yeah. It's nice, nice, thanks. Okay, one more fish, and you're up in Rick territory. What do you mean? That's well, nice. it's 11. Oh, that's you got to get triple limit, yeah. Rick puts me on the triples. All right, we're not leaving until he gets 12. <laughs> I never say that, because... I don't know where we are, so you uh, got to figure that out. We're near the end, but we have one more mark after this. If we're near the end, I guess we could go back up. Maybe don't go as far. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you're you're yeah, seeing it. No, no. Yeah. We, we're getting up, uh, we're getting you know. Yeah. Close. Focus on where they are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's one. There you go, Mike. And that's a good one. Good one. Come on. It's amazing when you first hook them. That's still a good fish, though. Yeah, for false alarms, yeah. Well, you know what? You did a good job putting a nine in that poop. Yeah, that's a nice fish, yeah. So we got a few on this trip. So the drift is really getting messed up here and uh, that's why I'm jigging like in the worst spot which is over the trolling motor but otherwise the line was going after the boat. Are you sure? That's not a big fish. That's it there? Is that what he's got in his hand? Uh -oh. What about you? Big net? Uh, I won't say that. I'll tell you what. Yeah, uh, it's a good feeling. Yeah, no, that, that's a You know what? Net. Yeah, I agree. I'm also going to need, uh, I need somebody to take this rod out of here. All right, and I'm gonna scuff on, I'm gonna head on down yeah, this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I wanna get around the motor. Oh God, you wanna take my pole and unlet him? This is scary. You've never seen my Kim net of fish, uh, Skinner. Uh, too bad Joe wasn't here. He's got a, it's a big net. Yeah, I see that. That's the big one of the day. That might be a double. Will you stop it? God, no wonder Doc, Come on, come on. Oh! Skinner, Skinner, what? that is sick. What? Hey, by the way, I have a Holy cow. Oh, that's double fish. That's definitely oh, double. That's, that's, that's 11, 12. Oh my. How's it going? Good, how are you? 
Wait till you see this, that's gonna just fall. Thank you, thank you. This has gotta be 11, 12 pounds, this one. Well, it's gonna be over 10. No, no, that's not it. It's half the size of this one. That's not half the size, but it's. There's something. Don't watch Woo! out. Watch his legs. He's got watch got hooks here. He's got a monster on. Holy cow! Oh, don't touch it. Yeah, yeah we're we're gonna work on him. <laughs> sure, we'll get up. That's like a twelve. That's twelve. It's gotta be twelve. Oh, it's over 12. The 12 shows. It's it's nice. between yes, 12 sir. and 13. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's over 12. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's over 12. 12 and a half, I'll say. Can I get one picture? Yeah. And there's the still photo. Yep, yeah, that's uh, one of the ones we dream about. Yeah, so we waited and took pictures. So it's been out of the water a couple of minutes. And so Halki is very smart. Get, get that thing in the water. Uh, and I'm, at this point, opening the little door to the back because I want to get on the stern expecting that I'm going to you know, lay down and uh, I want to drag him through the water with the boga grip with the boat moving and um, huh, well you'll see how it plays out. Come on baby, come on, come on. And you know what, and, and give me the boga because what I'll do is... Uh, Can get it. Michael or... or Woo, never mind. Oh. I didn't get the release. Oh, I, well, I couldn't do anything about that. Did you that. get it? You I were running. It. You were I running. Will run. I was running. All right. I, I, I couldn't do anything. He went crazy. Yeah, that's great. Resetting my, my camera, but that's okay. You got it. I want that clip. <laughs> we'll, we'll negotiate a price. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, John. Woo. Oh, and I get to show Rick. Hey, and it was the 12th keeper, too. Yeah. I don't even want to fish anymore. Thank God it wasn't caught on Orange Gulp. Oh, my <laughs> God, can you imagine? So we only took a couple more drifts, and Tony Han got... I, I don't know what this thing would have been if it would have been an entire fish, but... Uh, some kind of deformity going on there. Maybe it was bit at one point. Wow. So here's a scary scene we came across on the way back, and uh, wow, this uh, certainly gives me an appreciation for what fiberglass is like when it's on fire. Um, yeah, uh, I'm sure not too many people have ever seen fiberglass burn that way. That's really just amazing. And also, it takes me back to boating safety class, learning about the importance of um, venting gas when you fill up especially with an inboard with tanks underneath the floor and engine underneath the floor and yeah so this is uh this is bad hopefully the people are the right. people would, would have had plenty of time it's not yeah. a big boat either you know that but it's it like exploded a, you know i don't know i don't know what's on the radio you got you got oh, the yeah, vhf on Okay, police are on scene, and they're keeping a perimeter. This is a, a very busy waterway. There are a lot of boats around, and you know everybody's just you know staying back, staying away, and uh, the fire department's not there yet. Yeah, 
Okay, and as you heard on the radio transmission there, good news, everybody got off the boat safely. And uh, so this is um, now up to the fire department to put it out, and they're on scene. They've got a single boat pumping water from the bay, spraying it onto the boat, and they'll uh, take care of it. So, uh, yeah, scary scene. All right, I hope you enjoy these videos, and uh, please be safe on the water. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel. All right, we've seen a lot. Yeah.